Welcome to the Here's My Story channel. I'm Ruby. It was my 15th birthday. My mom sat me down and said, Honey, you're old enough to know about this. We need to tell you something important. Our family has a big secret, and it's time you found out. Ruby, you are not supposed to tell anyone about this family secret of ours. It is really important, honey. Promise? My dad asked. I nodded. I was so curious. I held my breath and waited. Mom said, Honey, we're a family of superheroes. We have superpowers. Normally, I would laugh, but my parents looked so serious that there was no way this was a joke. With a bewildered expression on my face, I first looked at my dad, then at my mom. Like in that Incredibles movie? I asked. My dad smiled. Not exactly, but yes, our family is somewhat similar to the family in that movie, he said. How are we different? I asked. My mom replied, we don't use our superpowers to fight evil. And we don't work undercover for the government. Your dad is a real vet, and I'm a real kindergarten teacher. This was the weirdest thing I could ever hear in my life. Suddenly, I had a million questions. Oh, what are your superpowers? <gasps> Did you come from outer space? Are we not human? Well, why don't I have a superpower? My parents <laughs> laughed. My dad said, Ruby, it's normal to have a lot of questions, but please don't ask them all at once. Then my mom started answering them for me one by one. Did we come from outer space? No, we're from here. Are we not human? We are, but we are a different human <gasps> species. Our species is called diversum. We can't marry from outside our own species. This is how we've managed to hide our secret for centuries. Every person from the diversum species has a superpower. We can't choose what it is, but we get it on our own between the ages 15 and 16. This is why you don't have a superpower yet, but your time has come now. This year, your superpower will be revealed. <laughs> I'm so curious to know what it's going to be. My mom hesitated for a second and looked at my dad. So, what are our superpowers? You're going to be surprised to see this. Your father will show his first. Dad looked at me. He smiled and suddenly turned into a basketball. Then he became a white cat. Next, he turned into a Christmas tree. And finally, he was my father again. I watched in awe as my dad transformed right before my eyes. He smiled. <laughs> Do you like it? We call this shape-shifting, he said. Dad, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I hope my superpower is just as cool, I said. Then I turned to my mom to ask her what hers was, but mom wasn't there. Mom? I called out to her. I heard her right next to me say, I'm here, honey. Oh my gosh, mom, is your superpower invisibility? My mom popped up right in front of me. Yes, honey. Remember how you were never able to find me in hide and seek when you were little? That was my secret, she said with a laugh. Suddenly excited, I asked, so what's my superpower going to be? Dad responded, many different superpowers are observed in our species. Super speed, animal control, super strength, flight, super intelligence. For example, my mom's superpower is time travel. Your grandma Sarah's superpower is mind control. We don't know what your superpower is, but one morning when you wake up, you will just know that you have a superpower. We don't know when, but it will definitely happen within the year. <laughs> That night, I couldn't fall asleep for a long time. First thing I did as I woke up in the morning was to check myself to see if I had any superpowers. But since I didn't feel any different, I didn't have it yet. Thankfully, I had 364 days ahead of me. Months passed. I was getting worried. I was checking myself every morning and felt disappointed when I realized I didn't have my superpower. As I walked into the kitchen for breakfast, my parents were staring at me. They could tell I was sad. Don't worry, honey, your superpower will manifest itself soon, they said, trying to make me feel better. My mom told me she got her superpower three months after her 15th birthday. One day, she said, good morning, to my grandmother. And my grandma Sarah screamed with glee. Oh, honey, I can't see you. You got your superpower and it's invisibility. So then my mom nervously asked her, okay, great, but uh, how do I become visible again? My grandma responded, you should be able to control that yourself. I can't help you with that. So my mom walked around invisible for four days. Thankfully, she figured out how to control her superpower and became visible again. My dad's superpower was revealed seven months after he turned 15. He had a small dog then. One morning, the dog came to my dad's room to wake him up, but she started growling as soon as she saw my dad. Apparently, my dad was dreaming of his dog, and without knowing, he had transformed himself into her. The poor dog started barking uncontrollably when she saw another dog instead of her human sleeping in his bed. My dad woke up in a sweat. Shortly after, he figured out that he had gotten his superpower, and he could shapeshift from then on. It had been 364 days since my birthday. Unfortunately, I still hadn't gotten my superpower. The next day, I was going to turn 16. 
When I woke up in the morning, I found my parents were waiting at the foot of my bed. I sat up. I checked to see if my superpower was there, but I didn't feel anything. My superpower wasn't revealed on the last day either. I started crying. Concerned, my parents looked at each other. I don't understand. This is not normal, my dad mumbled. I agree. It's not normal. We need to consult our elders, she said, and video called her mom, Sarah. She asked, Mom, today's the last day before Ruby turns 16 and she still hasn't received her superpower. Why do you think that is? My grandmother was calm. Don't worry about it. What's the big deal? Don't be upset. What if Ruby doesn't have a superpower? It's not like having superpowers made a difference for us. I haven't used mine in months, she said. Meanwhile, behind her, my grandfather appeared. Honey, she's lying. Just last week, she manipulated me into buying a new TV, he said, laughing. We laughed at that as well. I told you earlier that Grandma Sarah's superpower is mind control. So she can get my grandfather to do anything she wants him to do. When my maternal grandmother was of no help, my dad called his own mother. Grandma Jessica said, This is very serious. We're coming over. My granddad's superpower is teleportation. That is instant travel. A few seconds later, my dad's parents were standing in front of us. I've never heard anything like this before. Are you sure you still don't have it, my dear? Grandma Jessica asked me. I'm sure, Grandma, I said, and started crying again. Oh, honey, don't you worry. We will figure this out, she said, hugging me. She turned to my mom. I can think of only one reason, but I can't tell you what that is yet. First, I need to go and see for myself. I'm afraid I might run into something unpleasant, she said. Alarmed, my mom asked, what do you mean? What are you scared to find out? Grandma Jessica shook her head. I'll tell you when I get back. I hope it's not what I'm thinking, she said. Then she started spinning around really fast and suddenly disappeared. We kept waiting anxiously. I'd mentioned that Grandma Jessica's superpower is time travel. It looked like she was going to travel through time to shed light on this issue. Three hours later, she was back. She sat by the bed and held her head between her hands. She looked devastated. Unfortunately, it is what I thought it was. I don't know how to break this to you, she said, turning to me. Ruby, my little Ruby, this is going to hurt, but you have a right to know this before anyone else, she said. Then she turned to my mom. I went to the day Ruby was born. Your mom, Sarah, did something horrible that day at the hospital. I can see she did it for you, but still, what she did is inexcusable, she said. I couldn't take it anymore. Grandma, you're scaring me. What did Grandma Sarah do? Why did you go to the hospital? I screamed. She sat right next to me. Your mom went into labor earlier than expected. She had six more weeks when she started getting contractions. Coincidentally, your grandma Sarah was with her that day. She took your mom to the hospital. We weren't there. That's why I traveled in time to that day. I wanted to see what happened at the hospital, she said. Grandma Jessica stopped. She swallowed hard. Tears started pouring down her face. Apparently, it was very difficult for her to tell us what she had seen. Please keep going, grandma. We need to find out, I said to her. She was having a hard time speaking. I traveled in time to go to the hospital. Your mother was unconscious when she was brought in. She was bleeding. They took her into surgery immediately. Shortly after, the surgeon came and said to Sarah, Unfortunately, we lost the baby. Your grandmother lost herself. She started yelling and screaming. She blamed the doctors, but the baby had already died inside the womb. The doctors could do nothing about it. Then Sarah found a horrible solution to this problem. With her mind control ability, she made the doctors and the nurses that were in the operating room forget about the whole thing. She sent one of the nurses to the nursery for the newborn. She brought one of the babies in, and that was you, Ruby. Sarah switched you with the baby that had passed. Then she went to the room where your real parents were. She took over their minds and made them believe their baby was gone. Your mom was still under anesthesia, so she had no idea about any of this. When she woke up, you were with her in the room. Your mom thought she went into labor and had you, but this is not the truth. Oh my, I saw everything. I saw everything Sarah did at the hospital. The room was completely still. Everyone was in shock. No way. Why would Grandma Sarah do something like that? This is horrible. I said, sobbing. My parents came closer and embraced me. They were crying too. It was what it was. There was nothing we could do about it. We cried for a long time. My mom said to me, you are our daughter. Nothing can ever change that. None of this is your fault. Two months have passed since that eventful day. Both my parents and I have come to accept the truth. My mom had a big fight with her own mom. They're still not speaking. Grandma Sarah calls me every day, but I don't pick up the phone. I don't trust her. I think she wants to get into my head and make me forget how angry I am with her, but she won't be able to do it. There are so many things about this that upset me. Just think about it. The people I've come to know as my parents and family are not my real family. My real parents, on the other hand, think that I'm dead. 
Even if I were to go and find them, I can't explain the truth to them. And finally, I waited a whole year to get my superpower. I was so stressed. I didn't get my superpower because I'm not the biological daughter of my parents. What would my superpower be if I really was of the diversum species? I still wonder about that. How about you? What superpower would you like to have? Please write in the comments.